Blind and stuck on Please a Hilton like Hotel and elevator. Please share this video because this message needs to reach Hilton. My name is Mario Bonds and I am totally blind. I don't feel blind when I walk with my cane. I don't feel disabled when I have to fill around your stuff. But when things are inaccessible, I'm forced to live in my disability. I'm at the Hampton Inn Suites by Hilton, address 1231 West Peach Street in Midtown, Atlanta, Georgia. I spent 10 minutes trying to go and get food stuck on the elevator because if you look here, first, the elevator is touchscreen. There's a touchscreen panel here. Then down here, they provide a, key, a keypad that is supposed to make accessibility better, but one thing, there's no braille on the keypad. And so the first thing you do as a blind person with no braille instructions, etc., is you have to try and figure out, is this keypad a phone keypad or is it a calculator keypad? And if so, how do I press, press enter to, to invoke or activate the floor that I'd like to go to? So I'm in here trying to go downstairs as an independent consumer to get food and can't because I can't figure it out. And then the money thing, in this elevator, the lobby is on the 20th floor, not the first floor. So when I accidentally somehow push the button to get myself to go to the first floor, I'm still in a bad situation because that's not the lobby. And I need to go get my food that I got. That particular night, I go back upstairs, I go to my room, and what happens? The key doesn't work. At this point, a janitor helped me go back upstairs eventually, but the key doesn't work. Normally, you could say, just say, oh, I'll get on the elevator and go back to the lobby to get another key. I didn't want to go to a horror story again of being stuck on this elevator. Separate, the Hilton staff here were extremely insensitive. We were told by the front desk, we didn't build the hotel and we feel attacked. I'm a very gracious person, you know, from all the things that I do, I'm not combative whatsoever. But they were extremely insensitive. Now, the general manager, Amanda, was great when I ended up speaking to her. But the first level staff that does the de desk, they were extremely insensitive. And first they tried to argue with me. Oh, well, the elevator has the wheelchair emblem on it for people who are disabled. And I repeated to them, I'm not, I don't have an ambulatory disability, I'm blind. And I expect that this, if I'm feeling, this button here has a triangle made out of three dots that they tried to tell me should have been sufficient enough. The only thing that happens when you push this button, use the keypad to enter the destination floor. Use the keypad to enter the destination floor. Oh, I have to figure out how to use this because I don't know the orientation. And there's, there's no instruction here to say, hey, find the keypad that's located below X, that is a phone X, and do X. Not only, there's no instruction to tell you that there isn't even a card reader here. So you end up in a spiral. So my absolute hope is that Hilton gets some sensitivity training, and at least from an ADA perspective, Americans with Disability Act, this elevator is absolutely atrocious. I appreciate that all of the staff have finally came and looked at it. Sorry, you're right, you're right, you're right, but they've got to do something about this. Sure, thank you.